morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Nobin Pradhan. The Union Health Ministry has said that the central government is consistently and proactively working to secure and enhance the availability of vaccines. It dismissed reports that appeared in a section of the media, followed by some uninformed tweets alleging delay in licensing for Covaxin and delayed approval for technology transfer for manufacturing Covaxin vaccine in the country. The health ministry said that these news reports and the contents mentioned in the tweet are completely baseless and factually incorrect. It said the new liberalized pricing and accelerated national COVID-19 vaccination strategy aims at liberalized vaccine pricing and scaling up of vaccine coverage to insensitize vaccine manufacturers to rapidly augment their production and to attract new manufacturers. It would make pricing, procurement and administration of vaccines more flexible and ensure increased vaccine production as well as wider availability of vaccines in the country. The ministry said, as part of its policy to augment the domestic production of COVID-19 vaccine, the government has proactively encouraged public sector undertakings as well as private companies to enter into technology transfer agreements with Indian vaccine manufacturers. Nagaland's COVID-19 positive cases have surged to 17,256 with the detection of 366 fresh infections. This is the highest single-day spike recorded in the state, which has breached Tuesday's record of 338 infections. Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pang New Pom in a tweet said, The distribution of fresh infections are Dimapur 164, Kohima 128, Mokokchung 13, Woka and Zuneboto 12 each, Kipiri 10, Mon 9, Peg 7, Twensang 5 and Peren and Longling districts 3 each. He also said that 91 positive patients, Dimapur 66, Mon 10, Kohima 8, Mokokchung 6 and 1 in Zuneboto recovered, improving the number of recovered persons in the state to 12,968 recovered patients. There are 3,551 active patients. Demise of 12 positive patients in Dimapur district increased the death toll in the state to 177, while a total of 560 patients have migrated to other states. Meanwhile, with a view to contain the spread of the virus, the state government would be enforcing a week-long total lockdown throughout the state starting 6 p.m. today. The registration and booking for COVID-19 vaccine for people in the 18 to 44 years of age group will begin from 9 a.m. onwards today in Nagaland. The Health and Family Welfare Department, while informing that vaccination will start from 17th of this month, said that online registration is mandatory for receiving the vaccine. It said registration can be done through COVID and Arugya Setu app, while on-site registration will not be entertained. The department said that those who have registered themselves earlier will also need to book a slot under any of the designated COVID-19 vaccination centers, informing that vaccination will be administered only in the designated COVID vaccination centers. It asked all registered beneficiaries to go to the centers with the same photo identity card uploaded in the COVID or Arogya Setu apps. The Union Health Ministry has said that the gap between two doses of Covishield vaccine has been extended from 6 to 8 weeks to 12 to 16 weeks based on recommendation of the COVID Working Group. The ministry in a statement said that the COVID Working Group, chaired by Dr. N.K. Arora, has recommended extension of the gap between the first and second doses of Covishield vaccine. The present gap between the two doses of Covishield vaccine is 6 to 8 weeks. The ministry said based on the available real-life evidence, particularly from the UK, the COVID-19 working group agreed for increasing the dosing interval to 12 to 16 weeks between two doses of Covishield vaccine. The ministry, however, said that no change in interval of Covaxin vaccine doses was recommended. And as the number of COVID cases is on, is on the rise, we appeal to our listeners to take all the precautions and all those above 18 years of age to get vaccinated without any hesitation. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, focus on hand and face hygiene, and maintain a distance of two yards for social distancing. And that's all the news we have for you this morning. Have a nice day. 